Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm CNT Down. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, so TNT, I saw this thing online where a guy said that he forced a bot to watch over a thousand hours of Batman movies, and then he okay. asked it to write a Batman movie of his own. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna read like a little bit of this Batman script, <laughs> and I want to get your, I want to get your point, your thoughts on it. So, uh, internal traditional Batcave. Batman stands next to his Batmobile and uses his Batcopter. He's sometimes Bruce Wayne, sometimes Batman, all-time all orphan. Batman, this is now a safe city. I have punched a penguin into prison. Alfred, Batman's loyal butler, carries a tray of goth ham. Alfred, eat a dinner, Mattress Wayne. As, as explosion explodes, the Joker and Two-Face enter the cave. Joker is a clown, but insane. Two-Face is a man, but attorney. Batman. Mm -hmm. No, it's Two Face and One Face. They hate us for being a bat. Dude, One Face is the worst criminal ever. And that is the Batman movie that it got from. Oh, okay. That's how AI does stuff, dude. <laughs> that's the. That's how AI does stuff. Dude. That's AI, dude. That's, that's how it. AI does stuff, dude. Yeah, right there, man. There you got that's it. A quality ass Batman that's movie. How, Gotham. Right. Mm -hmm. Two Face and One Face. It sounded. It sounded very mad libby to me. You know. Oh my god, dude. What? I love Mad Libs. Oh, really? I used to love Mad Libs so much. That's, You'd be like, give me a noun. I'm like, penis. That's very funny because I, I hate Mad Libs. Dude, you seem like the kind of person that would hate Mad Libs. I detest them. Lowest, one of the lowest forms of comedy next to the pun. Should we do a, a Mad Lib? Absolutely. Like, not. I'll make you do the words. Mm, <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. Did you ever really? see the episode that Angela filled out a Mad Lib in the office? In the office, like they yes, had, and she was like, been "Very nice. He was a really nice man." Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, everything yeah. was awesome, like, man. I feel like Mad Libs when you get old, they're only good when you're a kid because uh, you have the comedy IQ of an acorn. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Yeah, because like every because if we put them up now, it would just be like everything would just be filth. Yeah, it'd be and... like DS. CD. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was all it was all that when we were kids, too. You'd be like, PP. <laughs> but he pooped on him. Give me a verb. Uh, pooped. Pooped. <laughs> Everything would be poop. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Everything like, is uh, poop. Yeah. I don't, you know, Jonas. Yeah. I've come to a point in my life where funny words don't do it for me. I think I've been funny worded out. I spun, I spun You're funny weeks. worded out? I'm funny worded out, man. I hung out with, with freaking Z and, and I turned out with Z and Squeak for years. All they did was they spoke in funny words. I mean, that was all of them. That was, that's all they did. I mean, it was. And it was. And it was funny. It was funny. It was uh, funny. Now I feel like if like, like somebody was doing that now, I'd be like, yo, dog. I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. Just like you can't just be like Scooby the Duke, and I'm just gonna <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't work. Now I'll admit that Skibbity. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you familiar with Skibbity? I guess not. Skibbity toilet. No, guess not, not familiar with Skibbity toilet. Do you remember when I sent you a song? It was uh, I can't remember the language exactly. But it was like, da 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 hey, skip it, dum 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 dum, yes, 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 yes. You remember that? Vaguely. Okay, vaguely. Either way, that's uh, Dom Caesar or something, I think is his name. I can't remember okay. off the top of my head. Um, made the song, totally different language. It blew up on TikTok because some guy who was overweight decided whenever he would eat, something that was delicious he would jiggle his belly and the song would go dum dum yes 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 and it was like oh this this place has good food you know it's like that video i sent you of like that girl making all the stupid faces like she's like what do you and like the little the little emojis come up and she's like eat the food or like no that is something totally different and this is to further prove my point about that 51 year old who don't know shit this is hurtful to me because we actually did a whole podcast <laughs> on these IRL on the on the uh, the NPC streamers, and yet you're still asking me. Anyway, TikTok culture, Jonas. I don't it's have it because I don't want to be addicted. Yeah, I feel you. It bled over into YouTube culture, and 
the bomb boom. I can't remember. Okay, his name. the bomb I, boom. Okay, sure. I'm Sounds the old, legit. I'm the old guy here. Fine. His name is the bomb boom or the the, the, the bomb or something like that. Anyway, made a series called Skibbity Toilet. Oh, that sounds fun. Where it has a similar soundtrack to that song. It's a little changed because the guy doesn't say skibbity. He's saying something in his actual language, but to the American ear, it sounds like skibbity. And the toilets, they come down to take over the world, and they're killing people. Killer toilets. Yes, and only the speaker heads can stop them. That sounds good. <laughs> there are hundreds of episodes of this on YouTube. Are we going to watch it? We are not. I've already watched half of them. You aren't going <laughs> to watch any of them. I can guarantee why you. Don't that. We, why don't we do like a movie mocks over top of it or something? It's a, it's a big. I mean, honestly, that's not a bad idea. Watch Skibbity Toilet. We Jonas reacts to Skibbity. Uh, a boomer reacts to Skibbity Toilet. We could call it that. Think of the headlines. Oh Jonas. man, people are going to think it's so fun. Boomer reacts to Skibbity Toilet. I put my face on there, like the, the thumbnail, just be me, like my mouth wide open yes. and like my a gun to my head. Yeah, Gen Z dad. No, I mean not Gen Z. Gen, <laughs> Gen Z dad. Gen, Gen, Gen X dad reacts I'm to Skibbity Toilet. Thank you. Uh, yeah, barely. Hey, you hey. made it in like the last call, dude. When they were wrapping it up. Hey. I used to be the last year for millennials. Hey, well, you know what? You used to be you the know last what? one. I for used June to X. be married, so. <laughs> 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 and now I'm not, so. Uh, you know what? Honestly, Skibbity Toilet, Jones, you might want to check it out. Skibbity Toilet, pretty good. I don't think that's in my nomenclature. Um, And then there's uh, Sticking Out Your Gat for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so. Uh, you always make fun of me when I say gat. It's not gat. Yeah, you know, it's totally. Oh my God, you're old. No, <laughs> it's fine. It's all right, dude. It's fine. I understand. You read books and you watch The Office. You go to your volleyball games. You come straight home to work and you kick your socks off and you put on your sensible shoes and you you take a, a you know, heated blanket and you put it over your legs before you take before you fall asleep. <laughs> and it's fine, dude. <laughs> Jonas, uh, when you say "gat," you're saying "gat." That's a 1990s reference, 40 years ago, for a gun. <laughs> when I say a "gat," I'm saying "g y a t t," which is <laughs> it is a it is a nice ass. Oh, a "gat," because when you see it, you go "gat." <laughs> oh, oh, you see yeah. that. You see that ass go by, you don't say anything. And then when all your friends are looking around, you all go, Gyat! Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's a Gyat. Okay. The Rizzler. The <laughs> Rizzler? We know what that is. Baby Gronk. Wait, what? Baby Gronk was a Rizzler. What's a Rizzler? <laughs> I remember you telling me about. I remember you telling me! About Baby Gronk and Lil Tay. <laughs> Lil Tay isn't dead, Jonas. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, we did a whole episode. She on came it. out with some disgusting ass Vizio where she's like barely clothed and she's like, I don't know, bitch is like 12 years old, man. Her family's fucking disgusting. I, I, uh, yeah. I'm, I don't know, man. You make your six year old a YouTube star, you're going to have some problems. What's more disgusting? Uh, that family dressing their 12 year old daughter in some revealing clothes for a, a music video. Or Honey that, Boo Boo. That didn't even crack the top 100. Or uh, Kim Kardashian's mom being like, oh, yeah, sure. My daughter can be in this sex tape with Ray J. Uh, I think soliciting your of age group daughter for a sex tape is bad. But I think also then sexualizing uh, exploiting your, your uh, child yeah, is yeah. bad, too. Yeah, sexualizing your minor child is pretty. You pretty know, I have a hot take. I think that. Um, child YouTube stars are going to turn out way worse than any uh, child TV star. Huh. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess I could see that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I always, hmm, I always think about, like, how the family is using the money because there's, like, child YouTube stars who, like, make millions playing with, like, toys on YouTube. And it's, like, you know, how much of that is being saved up for the kid and, like, they should they should invest a million dollars and by the kids by the time the kid's eighteen he'll have a lot of money. Yeah, but I mean they they make a lot of money. Like I've, there's some some toy channels and like some just like 
that, like unboxings and play yeah, with toy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, hey. Crazy. It's really crazy. People will exploit anything for cash nowadays, so take yeah. that for what it's worth. I so. mean, look, what what are we going to do to make it big? You see, what, what the, How can I exploit you? What do you mean exploit me? <laughs> I mean, we got to exploit something. <laughs> we should exploit you. Okay. Well, All right. How, how are you going to exploit me? We're going to start your OnlyFans. Oh, whoa. Ayo. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com oh, for take Jonas. It off. You get in there and get naked right now. Get, for Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.